Hey guys, it's Prong here. Um, I've just got in um, some new equipment from Logitech. Um, so shout out to Logitech uh, for sending me some of the new products, some of the new ranges uh, for me to review. Um, so I'm going to do like a little bit of an unboxing. I did get it like a little bit ago. Um, by a little bit, I mean several weeks ago, and I haven't had a chance to to get around and, and, and unbox it for you guys. Um, but I'm going to make this a more regular thing. I'm going to be uploading it to my Twitch um, and my YouTube now. But let's just get straight into it. So first off, we've got the Logitech G433. Um, they've sent it to me in the stylish red. The stylish red. And goes very well with my hat, as you can see, Legion. It's actually in quite, quite cool, um, it's actually in quite a cool box. Um, like they've done like a, I don't know, like a weird texture, like a shiny metallic kind of texture on it. I don't know if the camera kind of picks it up, but it's a metallic texture. This guy here, you can tell this guy means business. He is, I'm not too sure what he's actually doing. I don't, what's he looking at? Like what, what's he actually looking at? Do we, do we know what he's looking at? Let's get some specs, let's get some, some specs about this. Uh, technical specifications, headphone. Okay, we've got that. It's a headphone. It's got a headphone, then it's got blank. Oh, headphone. Here we go. PC, PC VR, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Switch, Mac, and Mobile. So for your PC, PC VR, um, it's 7.1 surround sound. Uh, PlayStation, Xbox One, Switch, Mac, and Mobile uh, at a stereo. So from what I can picture and what I can kind of get um, about these headphones is, I think this is, this is uh, Logitech's range where they're basically going to be making it so... Um, you can use these anywhere, so like you can be out on the street, walking down the road and, and have these blaring, pumping, and you're not going to look silly with a gaming headset on. Because let's be real, if you've got a gaming headset on um, and walking down the street, a lot of them are, are quite, um, gaming headsets are, are generally made to kind of stand out and have, you know, lights going down them and, and all that sort of, uh, that good stuff. Um, however, if you're wearing them down the road, um, you might look like a bit of a bit of a D. Um, <laughs> frequency response, uh, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Um, it's 32 ohm. Sensitivity is 107 decibels. A lot of this stuff it, it doesn't really mean anything to me. I'm the type of person where I put them on and they sound good. And then sweet, we're good, we're good. I just noticed this is really short. Fixed. Microphone pickup pattern, um, car, so okay, don't judge me, but I don't know how to say this word, cardoid, cardoid, yep, undirection, oh, unidirectional, sorry, not undirectional, I'm failing at this, anyway, type is back electric condenser, I don't know what that, electric condenser, I don't know what that means, but leave a comment below, we might be able to work this out together, size 4 millimeters. frequency response, 100, uh, 100 hertz to 10 kilohertz, and that's really about it, PC, uh, PC cable length is 2 meters, and mobile cable length is 1.5, um, and also the weight is 259 grams, we'll get straight into it, uh, we're trying to unbox this, so it looks like it's got a tab at the very top, which we're gonna peel this back, these usually make like a little noise, so let's, let's have a listen, oh, So, it only rips halfway. I don't understand. Oh, it's so this can slide out. This tab can slide out. Okay. This guy's not giving me any help here. Bloody hell. Alright. So, and I just saw this before. Oh, there. They are Discord certified. Whatever the hell that means. I'm not sure what that means, but they are Discord certified, alright? So, uh, when we first open up the box, we've got again the kind of metallic uh, G on there, which Logitech, I do love. I love their logo. I love the G logo. It's just so good. It's just so good. Anyway, so um, I'm going to open it up. So it's basically like a flip top. Oh, that's actually got, that's quite cool. It's got, I don't know if you can see that, if I shine it like a different, different way. It says, keep playing. Right there. I don't know. I'm rambling, but that's okay. Rambling's good. We've got a piece of plastic, and then we've got the headphones. And then we've got the headphones. They are really, really light. They are really light. Very light, to be honest, actually, compared to the other headphones that I've, um, that I've used. They are really, really light. Um, so, that's the front of them. Now, let's, let's pop these on. 
I'm not too sure. I've got a bit of a big head, so... Oh, jeez. Okay, not that big of a head. I've got a mirror there. They actually don't look too bad. Like, I know they're very brightly red. They're actually really quite cool. And the sound, um, what's it called? I've got no idea what, what do I, what am I saying? The sound detonation? No, sound deading? Uh, the sound blocking technology? The sound suppressing? The, what's it called? I can't even think of the word that I'm trying to say. The sound suppressing-ness. The sound suppressing-ness of these headphones are bloody amazing. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Sound, sound cancelling. Sound cancelling. That's what I think I'm trying to say. I'm not too sure. Anyway, I can't really hear too much else around me. Um, I would take off my hat, but I've got hat here. I don't have hat here much. Wow, okay. Alright, let's try this now. Oh, that's better. Oh, yo. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. How does this look? Yo, these are actually cool. I'm digging this. Oh, my hat here. Jeez. I'm actually really digging these. Apart from that I've got them wonky. Oh, oh, now my hair. Oh, Lord. Here we go. They are cool. I, I can appreciate these Logitech. I can appreciate these. I'm digging these, actually. I probably would have preferred them in a different color. Maybe like, red, uh, like black. But I'm actually... I do quite like them. I do actually really quite like them. Sorry, I'm look, I've got a mirror over there, so I'm kind of looking at myself in there. So, do they fold up? Okay, so they don't, they don't fold up. I was expecting them to maybe like fold up inside here, um, but they don't, so... That's okay. I mean, that's, that is okay. These actually rotate. Okay, there you go. So you can actually have them around your neck. If you're... Okay, well that, that's kind of cool. If you, I guess if you're going to, you know, walk around and go see, you know, go do some sparring or something, you can have them there for style. For style, um, do a bit of, a bit of sparring. Yep. So we've got another, we've got a box inside a box, okay? We've got a box inside a box. So we've got the microphone in here. So, it's a flexible microphone, so you can actually bend it. And it, it's, it holds. It, it does hold, it does hold. Um, in place. So that would go in there. And then, let me just fix my hair. We're ready for gaming. We are ready for gaming. That's actually not too bad. I actually don't mind that. It's not like one of those ones where you can kind of see it, like if you're looking and it kind of, you know, it's upper in your eye or something and, you know, you're, you're trying to like, and it's blocking your vision or it's, it's in your nose or it's in your, oh, yuck. I shouldn't have put it in my nose and then my mouth first. That was kind of gross, actually. Anyway, uh, and again, it's 3.5, so it can unclip and clip on pretty easily. Need my hat, because I've got bloody hat here. This looks like the mobile side of things. Oh, there's a twisty tie on it. I've got a sneeze coming. I've got a sneeze coming, and I'm, while I'm trying to record, I'm, I'm trying to be professional and not sneeze currently. So there's actually a microphone on there as well. Okay, so this is for if you're out in the street, and your homie Fid McAwesome uh, hits you up while you you got your beats jamming, and you you want to hit him, you want to answer and be like, yo... Hey, bro. <laughs> I would have kind of... Okay, my honest opinion. My honest opinion. I would have probably preferred if there was a bit of red on this cable. Um, because it... Even if, like, this piece here was, like, a little... Like, had, like, a little bit of... Like, even the button. Okay, if the button was red. Just to kind of break it up. Because it's going from... Oh, I guess it's going from a solid red to solid black. And it almost looks like... It almost possibly looks like the cable is the wrong cable. And you've just kind of grabbed one from somewhere else. It's just me being nitpicky. It's me being a nitpick. I mean, so I'm not going to be going down the street and someone's going to pull me up and be like, yo, that's the wrong cable. What are you doing with your life, sir? Okay, so we've got some some other thinner, it looks like. Thinner um, ear pads. So they're actually a lot thinner than, than these ones. Oh, shoot. There you go. So they're a lot thinner. Actually, it's a different material as well. It's like suede or something. So what's this? So what do we got here? We've got... So this is actually a splitter. This... From what I can tell, you get this cable here is the main one for the PC. Um, so again, it's both um, 3.5s, and it's got a it's got it comes with like a little clip with uh, volume adjustment, so you can adjust your volume. Camera's not going to focus, and it's also got where well, you can mute your microphone straight on there. So if you wanted to mute it, you can just flick that. But also, what this is, does is Instead of either plugging this into, say, like a laptop where you, it, um, it'll have 
the audio and the microphone on the same port. Um, you can plug this straight into there, and then you can split it out to either uh, microphone and audio. Um, so you're splitting splitting the cable out. That's kind of cool. And also uh, Logitech have included with the G433 the USB adapter. So it basically will allow you to have it via USB. What else have we got in here? And we've got a, a hat. I think it's a bag, but I, I'm pretty sure we could we could possibly wear it as a hat. It's definitely it's a swimming it's a swimming cap. Logitech have decided to um, to invest in swimming caps um, while you put on your headphones. So you can strut down the street if it's raining. Hat here, great. No, so that is actually a bag. So it's a carry bag for the 433, which is kind of cool. Um, so we basically pop that in there. And then zip it up. What does it say? Keep playing. It says keep playing on it. And there you go. So it's going to protect your headphones, which is kind of cool. Cool. So that is the G433. Thank you very much, Logitech New Zealand. I appreciate that. I'm definitely going to be using them. So the next on our list that we got sent is the G413 Carbon. So what can we see about this? It's actually it's a heavier keyboard. Um, I'm currently using. The Logitech uh, Pro, so Logitech G Pro um, keyboard, uh, where it's it's a nice keyboard. I actually really really like that. Um, will this be enough for me to move across to this? I guess we'll soon find out. But again, um, they've gone with the the very shiny labels, and it's kind of indented or something. It feels kind of nice. Uh, Roma G keys, um, which most if not all. Logitech keyboards are coming out with now with the the gaming range for the uh, for the yeah for the mechanical keys. So technical specifications: uh, Roma G switches, durability seven seventy million key presses. I don't know that they actually tested that. I don't know that they tested the keys for seventy million times. Anyway, um, actuation distance uh, one point five millimeters. Actuation force forty five Gs. Uh, total travel distance three millimeters. Um, blah, 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 blah. The weight is 1.1 kgs or 1,100 grams. Uh, cable length is 1.8 meters. Uh, I'm just going to use my Logitech uh, K series uh, knife, um, which you can pick up um, from nowhere um, because it doesn't exist. That was a dad joke. Hashtag dad jokes. That was lame. Really lame. Okay, so first impressions. First impressions of this keyboard. The keys stick up very far. There's no surrounding on it, so the keys stick up actually quite far on this. So let me just try and pull this keyboard out. Okay. There's two USB... Ah! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see what they've done here. So it actually comes with two, two USB cables. Um, for it. So one is actually to run the keyboard itself and then the other is the actual USB pass through for the USB port. So they're not actually on the same um, they're not actually on the same uh, I guess cable. Um, I guess in, in times of the hard battle when you're, you're getting yourself into some PUBG you've got to move out of the way very quickly because the uh, the globe is coming in. You don't want your, your phone to suddenly take all the juice and you not to win. I could be making that up, but in my head, that's how it works. So I guess you could you could probably just not use that if you didn't want to. If you're not going to plug anything directly into the keyboard, then you don't need to worry about that. But if you've got a spare port, sweet as, it, we might as well. There's no plastic, so... I don't know if you can kind of... See, look, so there's actually no um, plastic build-up. So I guess if dust was to go dust or food to sit down there you could literally just get get an air can or whatever and blow it straight you know either top or bottom and it will just come straight straight out the uh, out the bottom um we've got the the stylish g up here which we've got the piece of plastic that we can peel off which we all know we like that sound nope couldn't hear it okay that's good other than that, that's it's I guess your basic kind of keyboard. You got your you know your stands and your lift the upy bits. I don't actually don't know what they're called. Someone please tell me what they're actually called. 
the keyboard lifter upper is. That's what it's called. Um, yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens with it. Um, yeah, we'll give it a go. It looks nice. It looks nice. It's, it's probably it actually it's very similar to the the pro. Um, it's very similar to the pro with, with being compact and small, um, but they've kind of put the put the numpad on, uh, which it's taken me a while to get used to um, the numpad being missing off the pro. So I will definitely I'll definitely give this a go, and I'll let you guys know how that is. We've got some we've got some more bits in here. So we've got some replaceable keys. Looks alright, maybe. Okay, that was a fail. Uh, my battery just died on my camera while I was recording this, so I'm not too sure if I'm in the same position, but I need to wrap this up really quickly. Um, anyway, so I managed to get these keys out, um, which that is what it looks like there. Oh, well, it's indented. I was talking and I was still doing my review and I didn't even realize. Focus. Come on, camera. No, okay, it's not gonna focus. Anyway, that's what it looks like. And now I've lost the. Oh no, here it is here. So that's the plungery bit that pulls the keys out. And the keys actually come out really easy. Literally, it's just like that. As simple as that. Um, but when you try and pull them out by hand, it does not work. So that's kind of cool. Alright, I am going to wrap this up because my battery is going flat on my camera. Silly me for not charging it before doing this. I hope you guys um, enjoy this unboxing. I'm going to start doing more of these more often. I've got some new stuff coming from them as well. Um, massive shout out to obviously my sponsors um, for for helping me and making this dream come true. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys checking this out. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I appreciate it. And also subscribe like everyone else saying. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Um, but yeah, there will be more to come. I appreciate it. See you guys later.